This is Agent Greg Lewis. State your name, please. Jonathan Foster King. Your real name, not your cover identity. Dmitry Konstantin Dubrovsky. What's happened to my wife and daughter? Why haven't I heard anything from them? Because of your wife's illness, she's being deported to a country of her choosing. Your daughter's in the custody of the Justice Department, pending further review. My daughter is a native-born American citizen. She's completely innocent. She had no idea my wife and I were spies. Well, your daughter's future depends on how much information you're willing to give us. I asked for cigarettes. Did you bring cigarettes? They don't let me smoke here. What do you want to know? Tell me about this woman. How old is this photograph? It's about a month old. You know her, don't you? Maybe. It's the same woman I'm thinking of. Her name is Galina Karpikov. She came into the KGB a few years after I did. She was the best they ever had. What else can you tell us? Not much. I haven't seen or heard from her in years. She disappeared in 1974, just vanished. We're sure that this is the woman who's been killing the ex-KGB. We almost had her in Budapest about a month ago after she killed another ex-KGB but she slipped away before we could get to her. Also, we think she's the one who killed your spy friend, Charlie Vincent, so she must be in the US. That's why we have to catch her before she kills again. That's a tall order, Agent Lewis. Galina Karpikov, she's a ghost. Not only is she deadly, but she's efficient, intelligent, and resourceful. All these years, I thought she was dead. You've got to help us catch her. No. She's a chameleon. She can make herself virtually unrecognizable. Best assassin the KGB ever produced. She had 12 kills by the time she was 18 years old. Something oh, doesn't was... add up here, Dimitri. You said she came in a few years after you, but that's impossible. Are you sure this is the same woman? Could it be a look-alike daughter, also KGB? It does seem impossible. They're both one and the same, doesn't it? Yes, from her ID, it says she was born in 1953. That makes her 60, 10 years younger than you. The woman we were tracking in Budapest is in her late 20s, tops. What's the matter, Dimitri? You look worried. In the 60s, the KGB conducted an experiment with young orphans. Their program was called Zebra 9. They were training these children to be assassins. They gave them an experimental drug that enhanced their physical and mental abilities beyond belief. We're trying to create a race of super soldiers, fools. When I saw Galena's photograph, seeing how young she still looks, I realized she's one of the Zebra and Nine children. Are you saying this woman is 60 years old? Yes. That was one of the side effects of the drug. Slow aging, prolonged lifespan, expanded reflexes. Unfortunately, the drug also had a very nasty side effect. Turned most of the children psychotic and violent. A lot of them went insane. How many children are we talking about? About 40, counting Galena. But why would she kill ex-KGB then? What's her motive? Revenge. Galena came to the KGB in 1971. She was just 17. 
She had obviously just graduated from the Zebra 9 program. She was the first one out. About two or three years later, the children began exhibiting psychotic, unpredictable behavior when they reached puberty. The older they became, the harder they were to handle. The KGB was afraid of them. So they terminated the program. Let me guess, they killed all the children. Yes, that's what they did. Idiots. That's why she disappeared in 1974, when she found out that the KGB had murdered the only family she'd ever known. So she's killing the ex-KGB to pay for their old sins. Yes, Agent Lewis. And I'm probably her next target. It's impossible for her to get you in a supermax prison. You don't realize what she's capable of. I'm already a dead man.